this video will be discussing how to remove a uh, ductive vacuum that's mounted on a high. So there's two types of ductive systems. There are top mounted ductive systems and mount, uh, systems that are mounted down lower. With this type of machines, the first thing you have to do is disconnect the power. So most vacuums will have a power cable that you can remove from the vacuum cleaner itself. If you can't remove it from the machine, then obviously unplug that from the power wall socket. Uh, after you remove the power cable, you'll have these two low voltage cables. This is the same as surround sound speaker cables. So it won't zap your electric tube, and all you have to do is disconnect those two from the machine. Uh, on this type of system, you'll find that there's some terminals attached. So you might need a screwdriver or some pliers, give them a bit of a wriggle, and that should just come off from the machine. Uh, to connect them back up again, just do the same thing. So they may be a bit tight, and this has got a permanently mounted cable to it, so all you have to do is just unplug that from your wall socket. So once the power cable has been disconnected, you'll notice there'll be some pipe coming out of the machine, either from the, the left side or the right side, or about the midsection part of the machine. If they have some tape on there, some electrical tape, all you have to do is just remove that and twist and dislodge the pipe from the vacuum cleaner. Do not remove any of the pipe that's coming down from the ceiling or from the wall, or if it's coming from the side of the wall, just leave that all be. All you want to do is disconnect it from the machine. Uh, and then once all, all the pipe work and the electrical cables have been disconnected, all these machines are designed to live upwards. To make it easier, you may have to remove the bucket so you can grab it from this section instead of from down here. But in any case, you just have to lift it up about an inch or so. And this one over here was about 10 centimeters. And then pop the machine down on the ground. So what will be left is your mounting bracket. And there may be metal, there may be plastic, but essentially they all work in the same principle. Where the actual bracket, slides down onto the back, or the vacuum slides down into the bracket. And that's how you remove a ducted vacuum. Once that's done, you can bring it into our workshop and uh, we can look at servicing the machine or replacing the motor or repairing it for you here at a more economical rate.